Hey guys, it's Kevin again, and Merry Christmas Eve to all of you, and this is going to be another movie review for you guys, uh, and in this uh, video, I'm going to be talking about a film that I've wanted to see for a very long time now. I've been hearing so much acclaim about it. Everyone has just been um, just going on and on and gushing about how great this movie is, and I knew that I would not feel right with, you know, ending this year and not seeing this movie, and thankfully I did get a chance to see it, and that, of course, is Call Me By Your Name, and what this film is essentially about is we center on this character, uh, Elio, and he is living in Italy, and basically he, um... They bring, you know, his family, uh, one summer in Italy, they bring in this care this guy, Oliver, who he's going to help Elio, who is a bit of a prodigy in terms of music and things like that, but he's going to help him with his studies and things like that, and, uh, over time, Elio starts to realize that he may actually be attracted to Oliver, and, um, you know, basically it's how their relationship grows over this one summer, and that's really all I'm gonna say. But, uh, Call Me By Your Name Roll, like I said, I was very interested in this movie. I've been hearing tons of acclaim, especially coming off the heels of Moonlight last year. This movie had tons of potential. Uh, there were so many things going for it, and, uh, the trailers in general definitely very much intrigued me, and... I have to say that while I definitely did enjoy this movie, I don't think it's as amazing as everyone's been saying it is. Now, don't get me wrong, I do think this is a very well put together film. I do think it's a very good movie overall. It's just not great. And I do think there are quite a few problems that just keep it from being a great movie. Uh, we're just getting into right now, starting off with the cast, which I'll say right now, all the praise that the cast has gotten is definitely deserving. Uh, you know, I, I don't think the movie is completely deserving, but acting-wise, absolutely. Everyone pretty much knocks it out of the park here. The standout absolutely being Timothy Chalamet, who I think carries the entire film. I talked about him before in Lady Bird. He's a very good actor, but this movie really shows... Um, his true, I think, range as an actor, because he has to convey so much through this movie, and some of it completely without any dialogue. I mean, there's a lot of scenes where, you know, it's just through a facial expression, or through, um, just a certain gesture that he made, and the way this character is kind of discovering himself, it's honestly really well done. I really do love where Timothy Chalamet goes in this film. Elio is a very interesting character. I really do like where they took him throughout the film. And like I said, he absolutely killed it here. He carries the film very nicely. Uh, you really do feel like you are in his perspective the entire time. And that's something I really did love about the film. And he really was great here. As well as Army Hammer. I thought Army Hammer as Oliver also was fantastic. And I really like the juxtaposition between these two characters. Uh, you know, Elio's a lot more quiet while Oliver is a lot more outspoken and he's a lot more of a free spirit and he's got this positive nature to him and uh, I thought their chemistry is easily some of the best I've seen all year. These two work very well together. Uh, they have some really great scenes in the film for sure and uh, I definitely really did love their chemistry overall. And I thought the rest of the cast here was really good. Uh, the girl who played... I believe her name was Marza. Uh, she is, in fact, uh, Elio's girlfriend. Uh, she definitely was really great. I liked her character a lot. Michael Stahlberg, I really like. Really, the entire cast, like I said, everyone really brings it here. There's not a single, I'd say, dud when it comes to the cast. I think everyone honestly really killed it, and that's something I will definitely give this film. I think the, you know, acting-wise, this movie is absolutely fantastic. Everyone really deserves all the praise that they've gotten, and, uh... I think the cast here is great. The directing, on the other hand, here's where we start to get to some of my problems with the film, because I do really like the this, you know, director's style. I can't really, I can't think of his name right now, but his style here, I do definitely love, because he doesn't direct this movie as a movie. He directs it as if you're seeing it play out in real life, and because that it doesn't really have a consistent tone. There are parts of this movie that do feel kind of bittersweet. There are parts of this movie that do feel kind of depressing, but it doesn't really have one consistent tone, and uh, that did sometimes make it hard to really discern how I was supposed to feel in a certain scene. I will definitely say that, but I think that's what the director was going for. I think he purposely left it ambiguous, um in a way for us to kind of connect with these characters and make it feel real. And I think it definitely, he did a really good job with that. 
It does, in fact, hurt some of the screenplay, though, because here's where we get to my biggest problem with the film. Like I said, as much as I did care for all these characters, which I really did, I cared about Elio, I cared about Oliver, I cared about their relationship, it just, to me, felt like something was missing. As much as I thought the story was well handled, as well as fleshed out as I thought everyone was, I really thought there could have been more, and... Honestly, I'm going to compare it to Moonlight. I know I'm not supposed to because they're two completely different films, but I think this movie warrants a comparison because it is very similar to Moonlight in that it's about a kid who really is discovering himself. But the difference with Moonlight is that it wasn't just him coming to terms with his sexuality. It was also him grappling with, you know, his very... Um, just, just very sort of uh, tumultuous upbringing and the very violent sort of, you know, just very bad um, home life that he was in and how he really, um, like I said, how he really transitions and who he really becomes over the years. This movie doesn't really feel that way. This movie is much more about this one summer. It feels very personal, and that's something I do really like. I do like how personal this movie feels. I like how short-lived this encounter is. I definitely did get that sense very well, and I definitely did enjoy that over the film. It's just there was a lot more I wanted to know. Like, I really wanted to go more into Elio's character. I wanted to know, especially Oliver. Oliver is a bit of a blank slate, and and maybe that's because of the fact that Elio doesn't know as much about him. Um, but these two grow so close over time that you would think that we would find out a lot more about Oliver. But we really don't. We don't really get that in depth about his character. Other than the fact that, like I said, he is very intelligent. And, you know, he is very outgoing in that way. And I will admit there are points in this movie where it's hard to tell why exactly he is so attracted to Oliver. It's just, besides the juxtaposition there, I didn't really see much more of a reason. And again, maybe it's just because um, it, that's just what it was, that he just is attracted to Oliver. But again, just some of that, it didn't feel as complete as it should be. It just felt a little empty. And... Especially when you compare it to this subplot, because there is a subplot going on in this movie, like I said, with him and his girlfriend, and uh, they're getting a lot more intimate as the film goes on. They get more and more progressively um, in a sexual relationship, and you see how throughout the film, as his attraction to Oliver really starts to increase, and he starts to get more of an urge to want to be with Oliver, his attraction to her really does start to lessen, and I thought that plot line was a lot stronger than the main story we had going on between him and Oliver, which I understand it is interconnected in that way, but that storyline is perfectly handled. Everything about that I loved. If everything in the movie was as well handled as that story, this movie would be a masterpiece. Piece, but unfortunately, it's not. I just felt because of how strong that storyline was, everything else doesn't really hold up in comparison. Um, and again, don't get me wrong, the acting is great, and they really do make the film. I mean, you know, besides their scenes together, if it wasn't for Army Hammer and Timothy Chalamet, I don't know if the scenes between Oliver and Elio would sell as well, because... They do feel a little bit um, meandering, and I understand that the summer in general is very meandering in that way, but it just in general didn't feel as consistent as it should be. I really want to know more about the characters overall, and there are a lot of scenes here that aren't really all that important. Um, there's a lot of stuff here that I think definitely could have been cut out. Elio's parents, as much as I did enjoy them, they don't really have too much to do in the film either, which I guess makes sense because, like I said, the film never really leaves Elio's perspective. It's very much in his point of view. We see things kind of through his eyes, and I definitely did like the way that was handled. So, you know, like I said, there is definitely stuff I enjoy in the screenplay. I think there's some fantastic dialogue. I think there's definitely some fantastic scenes. It's just not the most, I guess you could say, concrete narrative. It just doesn't doesn't feel as complete. There are things that definitely I feel like they could have added a bit more to. So yeah, there is definitely a feeling where I really enjoyed the screenplay. I just don't love it in the way everyone else does. And especially some scenes that thought were definitely unnecessary, especially this, particularly this one scene involving a peach. I get what they were trying to do, but I felt like they could have been a lot more subtle about it. And they just weren't. This movie is not at all subtle about things. It's kind of in your face at points. And it, it didn't feel as subtle as it really should have been. There is this one really cool sort of recurring theme that involves um these uh sort of 
these flies and I don't really want to get into it too much because I don't fully understand it honestly but I did like where they went with those flies overall I thought it definitely was kind of interesting what they did with that I thought it was honestly a really cool visual um sort of recurring theme in this movie I actually really did like that um so yeah, that, that whole motif with the flies I do think is actually really cool. The cinematography here is fantastic. It's some of the best I've seen all year. Uh, this movie genuinely makes you feel like you're there. You know, the, the incorporation of Paris, it's its own character in the movie. I mean, not Paris, Italy. It's its own character in the movie. It really does feel like you are in these beautiful places and that you're right there beside Elio and Oliver. And I think they handled that perfectly in this movie. Um the way they really did construct, you know, in regards to the way that the scenery is done. All of that is so brilliantly well realized. And like I said, I really did feel like I was right alongside these two characters. And that's when you know you've really handled the movie well. So again, cinematography, beautiful, loved it. Uh, great stuff. Definitely some of the best of the year for sure. It's very intimate in that way as well. Um, it never really leaves this one summer. And I just, I really enjoyed the way that was handled. The score, I definitely really did enjoy as well. I thought the score was definitely really great here. I could definitely see the score... Um, um, being nominated for sure. The editing to this movie, the editing. Uh, I will admit, I think this movie is a little bit too long. I think definitely if it was like 100 minutes, it could have been a little bit more fluid, but there's about, I'd say, 20 to 30, 20 to 15 to 20 minutes of this movie that very much could have been cut out. Uh, it didn't really need to be there. And again, I understand this is very much where it's, you know, his life and we're seeing things through his eyes and we're spending this one summer. But like I said, there are things that this movie focuses on that I don't really think we need to focus on as much as we did. And there were definitely some things that just felt a bit meandering to me. I get it. That was the point, but it just doesn't make for the most... Um, again, complete narrative overall. Um, so like I said, guys, Call Me By Your Name overalls is a good movie. I really did enjoy it overall. It's got some of the best performances I've seen all year. Timothy Chalamet and, um, you know, Army Hammer. All the praise that those two have gotten, depth, they definitely deserve it because they both are fantastic here. It also has one of the best endings I've seen all year for sure. I really did love the ending to this movie. And at first, the way the movie ends, it's very abrupt and weird. Not abrupt, but it's just very weird. It's this sort of elongated sort of thing, and you're expecting them to cut away, but they don't. And I honestly thought it kind of worked what they were trying to do with that. At first, it did bother me, but really think about it, I get what they were trying to do there, and it honestly made me like the ending a lot more. So like I said, Call Me By Your Name is definitely a good movie. I did enjoy it overall. I don't think it's as great as everyone says it is. I do think that it, there is just a couple things that are a bit lost. As I said, in general, I do think they could have added a bit more to the narrative. Some of the character motivations are just a bit unclear overall, especially the main relation going on. It's just, it wasn't clear to me. Um, you know, Elio is a character. He's interesting, but he's not as interesting as he could have been. It's not as good as Moonlight, I definitely will say that but I think this definitely has tons of Oscar potential for sure I think we're definitely going to see it sweep a lot of the um you know awards awards for sure definitely Timothy Chalamet Army Hammer you're definitely going to see them um come Oscar season that that is inevitable that's definitely going to be up there I don't know if it's gonna win best picture a lot of people are saying it's like the the shoe-in I don't know if that's necessarily true um if it did, okay, I don't necessarily think it deserves it, but I think it might, honestly, so we'll just have to see the way that really does play out. But like I said, I definitely did enjoy Call Me By Your Name overall, and I am going to give Call Me By Your Name overall a B. But overall, guys, some of you Call Me By Your Name, let me know what you guys thought of this movie overall, left your thoughts, and like I said, I really enjoyed it. I didn't, you know, love this movie as much as everyone else did, but I definitely did enjoy it. I think it definitely is worth a watch. Just know what you're getting into. It's much slower than Moonlight. It's not... Um, you know, the big narrative that Moonlight really was. It's a lot more of a smaller story, and I do think it works in that regard. There are just a few things I think that could have they could have added to the narrative overall that would have made it even stronger. But that's in my review. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in my next video, and I will see you guys for that. Okay, bye.